We have solved several questions in simplification part one of the video. This is going to be the part two of the video where we will be solving more harder questions. Here also they want you to simplify but compared to the previous expressions given previous sums this is a little different. You have some expression within a bracket and some within a bracket here there is no sign in between in certain cases you will have a sign plus or minus here no sign means they are in multiplication you are not supposed to add them you have to open the bracket and multiply them take x and multiply both x times x do not write it as 2x it's x squared you are not adding x and x you are multiplying and x times 3 write it as 3x and then take 1 and multiply both. 1 times x, just x. You don't need to write it as 1x. 1 times 3 is 3. Now you see, it's uh, just the normal simplification where you look for the like terms. x square, 3x plus x is 4x plus 3. That's how you simplify. It's the same thing here. You need to take 2y, multiply both. Negative 3, multiply both. When you take 2y and multiply this, I have seen students, they write it as 3y. You need to understand you are not adding it. You are multiplying 2y and y. When you multiply 2y and y, y times y is y square. The number is the same. Or let's say you are multiplying 2y by 3y. You multiply the numbers. You multiply the variables 6y square. In this case, 2y times y is 2y square. 2y times 1 is 2y and here there's another mistake you might tend to make another mistake here when you take the second term always take it as with the sign as I told you already here it's negative 3 negative 3 times y negative 3 1 negative 3 times positive 1 and then simplify the like terms 2y square 2y minus 3y 2 minus 3 is minus 1 minus 3 it's the same thing here but there is a number outside Sometimes you will have a number outside, do not worry about the number. There is two things you can do. First you take the number, multiply by this, 6x plus 2. But you still need to put a bracket around it because we need to multiply this by this. And then it's same like first one, first question, you need to multiply 6x times x, 6x times negative 2, 2 times x, 2 times negative 2 and simplify the like term 6x square minus 12 plus 2 is minus 10x minus 2 that's one way of doing it or do not worry about the number outside just keep it outside multiply them first take 3x and multiply both 3x square minus 6x take positive 1 and multiply both take 3x multiply both 1 multiply both. x minus 2 and simplify them, you will get 3x square minus 6 plus 1 is minus 5x minus 2. And then finally, open the bracket. So you need to take 2 and multiply everything, you will get the same answer. 6x square minus 10x minus 4. Here it is supposed to be 4. 2 times minus 2 is supposed to be 4, not 2. So you will get the same answer. There are two ways you can do it up to you which one you want to do and here you have a square you can apply the algebraic identity a plus b whole square if you know this a square plus 2ab plus b square if you know this identity if you don't know it's very simple write it as x plus 4 times x plus 4 and multiply same like question 1 take x and multiply both x square plus 4x Take 4 and multiply both, 4x plus 16, you will get x square plus 8x plus 16 because 4x plus 4x, those two are like terms, so add them. So you need to do the same thing here and here separately, x plus 2 times x plus 2 minus x minus 3 times x minus 3. If you can learn this algebraic identity, that would be better. Because x plus 2 whole square, you can straight away write a square plus 2ab plus 
b square so you will get x square plus 4x plus 4 uh, if you think that it's difficult you can't memorize this you write it as two factors and multiply you will get x square plus 2x plus 2x plus 4 take x multiply both take 2 multiply both minus you see this minus is a common minus so you need to put a bracket around it around this x uh, multiplication here x square minus 3x minus 3x plus 9 you see you need to put it inside a bracket because this negative sign not only for the first term it's a common negative sign so you need to open the bracket and multiply everything by the negative sign so you will get x square plus 4x plus 4 here minus x square this is minus 6x multiplied by minus 6x minus 9 simplify the like terms x square and x square will be cancelled 4 plus 6 10x 4 minus 9 minus 5 that's the answer need to do the same thing here but you have a number outside do not square this number keep the number outside expand this x minus 3 whole square you need to write it twice and expand you will get x square minus 6x plus 9 after simplifying keep the negative 3 outside expand it x square plus 2x plus 1 I am applying the algebraic identity you can write it as twice and multiply and simplify them now you need to open the bracket take 2 and multiply everything 2x square minus 12x plus 18 here you need to take negative 3 and multiply everything minus 3x square minus 6x minus 3 simplify the like terms 2 minus 3 is minus 1 minus 12 minus 6 is minus 18 18 minus 3 is 15 so this all comes under simplification there are several types of simplification here this is another type of simplification where you have three factors here so first you need to take any two up to you you can take the first two or the last two or first and third one up to you so i'm going to take the first two keep the last one as it is you just need to multiply these two first as usual take x and multiply both take 2 and multiply both so it's x square minus 3x plus 2x minus 6 put a bracket around it the brackets are very important when you solve math problems if you miss out this bracket it looks like 6 times this but actually this is multiplied by everything here that's why you need to put a bracket around it and simplify first so you will get x square minus 3 plus 2 is minus 1 minus 6 and then finally now take x multiply everything take negative 4 multiply everything I am going to take x and multiply everything x times x square is x cube x times x x square x times negative 6 6x now we need to take not only for minus 4 multiply everything minus 4x square minus times minus plus 4x minus times minus plus 6 4 are 24 and then simplify the like terms x cube here minus 1 minus 4 minus 5x square minus 6 plus 4 is minus 2x plus 24 that's how you simplify this Sometimes instead of three brackets, you will be given like this. You see, it has a square. So simplify this first. Keep the x minus 1 as it is. Write it as 2x plus 3 times 2x plus 3. Or if you know the identity for a plus b whole square, you can apply the identity. Otherwise, write it twice and multiply. x minus 1 times. Take 2x and multiply both. 2x times 2x don't write it as 4x it's wrong you need to multiply 2 times 2 4 x times x x square 2x times 3 3 times 2x 3 times 3 so it's x minus 1 times 4x square 6 plus 6 12x because they are like terms so you can add them. now take x multiply everything take negative 1 and multiply everything so you will get 4x cube, 12x square, 9x. When you multiply by x, when you multiply by negative 1, minus 4x square, minus 12x, minus 9. 
and that's it simplify the like terms 4x cube 12 minus 4 is 8x square 9 minus 12 is minus 3x minus 9 that's how you simplify here you are going to do the same thing like question 1 by keeping the number 2 outside keep the number 2 outside and simplify everything when you get the final answer multiply everything by this 2 so I'm gonna keep 2x plus 1 I'm going to multiply these two x square plus 3x minus x minus 3 and then x square 3 minus 1 is 2 now by keeping the 2 outside uh, same like the previous sum we saw you can multiply 2 by here 2x plus 2 and then multiply this up to you how you want to do it I'm going to take x and multiply everything x cube plus 2x square minus 3x take 1 and multiply everything x square plus 2x minus 3 simplify this so you will get x cube 2 plus 1 is 3x square minus 3 plus 2 is minus x minus 3 that's not the final answer you need to open the bracket and multiply everything by 2 so it's 2x cube 6x square minus 2x minus 6 that's that here 3x plus 2 whole cube you have this algebraic identity a plus b whole cube is a cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square plus b cube if you know the identity apply the identity that's much faster if you don't know the identity write it three times 3x plus 2 times 3x plus 2 and same like question number one you need to multiply first two and then with the third one so i'm going to multiply these two you'll get 9x square stop writing it as 6x you are not adding you are multiplying 9x square plus 3x times 2 6x 2 times 3x 6x 2 times 2 4 so this is 9x square plus 12x plus 4 times 3x plus 2 now you need to take 3x multiply everything 2 multiply everything and simplify you will get the answer so the final answer will be 27x cube for x square you will get 12 36x square plus 18x square you will get 54x square 3 times 12 26 I'm just skipping one step actually but I, when you when you practice this question I want you to take 3x multiply everything take 2 multiply everything and then simplify so 27x cube 36x square plus 18x square is 54x square 24x plus 12x 24 plus 12 36x and then 2 4s are 8 that's the answer so that's all in simplification now you can download the worksheet from the description there is a link for my google drive download the worksheet it's a printable worksheet with a question and a space for you to solve it and you can practice a similar type of questions